All right, guys, welcome to a special edition of the 11 a.m. Saturday training call, kicking off our fantastic day of training. All of you have got a preview already. You've got so many great things happening. And Rory's going to share a lot of wonderful news with you, but then he's going to um, take care of a lot of other good things. we got two special classes back-to-back -back from a, well, this one starting at 11 and another one starting at 12. So make sure you got plenty to write with. Make sure you're ready to do a little bit of work and make sure you got uh, your pencil sharpened or your favorite pen and your markers out and let's get going. So without any further delay, our co-founder of Triple R247 and PBS, the CEO of Wine Ambassadors and our top trainer, Mr. Rory Rickard, take it away. Awesome. Thanks, Niall. All right. So um, I, I'm going to just tell you guys, uh, Tanya was working on this presentation and, and she actually did it and had it recorded. So that it was prepared. And, um, and then last night, actually, I guess, yeah, last night, um, Chloe was going into full on labor and she went to the hospital. They sent her home and then they told her what to watch for. But long story short, she went back in early this morning. Um, I was still working on the, um, the stuff that I'm going to be covering in a couple hours. But I was uh, up still, went to bed, and we got woken up uh, about 5.30. Uh, so I had about a two-hour nap to, to, to find out we're grandparents. And um, again, and um, she's gorgeous. But of course, Tanya, she gets to go see the baby. Um, they, they only allow so many, and Tanya's going, obviously. She's grandma. Uh, we call her Nona. And she's there. So because she was prepared, she didn't. She didn't let any of us down. She did the recording. She had everything ready. You guys are going to love it. Um, I'm going to put some preface on it, but I'm going to tell you guys something. We prepare for everything, and it and it allows us to never fail. And you know, even this, this is a you know a pretty big deal. But she was already prepared for it. I just want you guys to take away from that. Just watch what we do because there's a reason why we're so successful in everything that we do and and put our hands on because we've learned preparation is everything, right? You prepare for success and then you act on it. You know, we could have talked about it all the time. Like, oh, we should have recorded that because it's such a vital part. No, she re she did the work. She worked on it all week to have it ready for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm also going to open up a new direction of um, marketing that we're, that we're doing as Tanya and Rory. And I'm going to let you guys know on a, a little secret on this. Tanya is going to be adding more to the cooking and blending of food and wines. She's doing separate segments. Um, in, in, you know, in the setting to, to feed that out there and really highlight our brands of wine. I'm going to show you guys the channel on it. You guys are welcome to follow it. This is also something that you guys are welcome to do on your own as well, just to put it out there, pushing the brands. Okay. Um, anyway, you, you guys, you guys hopefully are getting a pretty good understanding of what we have here. Multiple streams of income. We do have this insane foundational program with wine that will never go anywhere. That's something that we're going to be able to build a stable, stable income with as we add other incomes. So um, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, cover that. But anyway, without further ado, let me pull this up here. I'm going to share my screen. And um, I'm going to YouTube. And I want you guys to see that we have the Wine Life with Rory and Tanny on here. Um, we put some of the wine and dines on here, a lot of the ones that we use. This is going to be growing as a channel for the branding purpose. So Tanny has other channels and she's been doing the planning stuff for years. Okay. This is going to be all around wine and the wine life and, and more or less, to, you know, to go out there. And then we're going to be working on indirect marketing around it. So people get into it. But if, if they're seeing nothing but our wines over and over again, as the meals are cooked and everything, it, it is going to add to it. I'm also gonna put this out there. There's several of you out there, um, including those that are doing, you know, the wine and dine shows. Like you guys should, you know, re record your segment of the stuff you're cooking and prepare for. This is something you guys can emulate. We, if we had a thousand of us doing this, it's not gonna hurt anything. It's just gonna get more, more and more exposure. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the wine life with Roy and Tanya. And I need to go to, um, hold on. This is the channel. Give me one second here.
All right. I need a password. You want me to get it? I'm getting it right now. I wrote in the chat, always ready, always prepared. Even I get amazed sometimes. It's um, sometimes it's like you can predict the future, just feel things coming. And you guys just always seem to be so over prepared almost all the time. And that's why you're always doing as well as you're doing. All right, I let a few new people in. If you don't hear sound yet, we're just, we're here. We're about to get going. Just hold tight. You got, as long as you see your screen. Yeah, right there, guys. Welcome, welcome, still letting people in. Don't worry about the sound, there is sound. We're gonna get started in a second. As long as you see the screen, the wine life with Rory and Tanya, you're good. And we'll get going in a second.
Okay, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> she, she, she put this all private and um, I had access to it from my other computer, but not this one. So now I got that fixed. So here goes. So I will be putting this up in the, in the, in the training process. You guys are gonna see it here first. Um, let me go to full screen.
So then what I'm going to do now from this point is where I'm going to um, this, I will probably put my year and my um, my goals, but I have these list stickers and I'm just going to write and go ahead and go in the circle here of what they are. So this is personal. Obviously, and I have fun recreation. I'm just going to work in a quadrant here. You guys can write these down and use it and use a highlighter, which is why I showed you the highlighters. And then a lot of you guys, if you're not doing this with me, you know, you can just get ideas, take notes, and then go get what you guys want to do. Um, whatever, like I said, whatever works for you. There's no wrong way. So, spiritual and personal growth. Spiritual. Again, guys, we love the tweezers idea. We love them. You guys were ever scrapbookers? Let me know. And personal environment. Okay. So there's my section. So I already know that I want to fill these up with, with my, my stickers, my whatever for each area. But I will be using my Sharpie to draw lines again. Um, for, and then I will be using my highlighters. So I already know that. So I'm going to start off with my personal. So I have my um, personal right here, personal development. And then I do have my planner right next to my goal planner right next to me. So I can kind of see what I was thinking and each, each thing. So the first thing here is that I wanted to do routine. So I have the routine. This is one that's really important to me. So I'm just going to put this up here. And then I'm going to go with what do I have from there? I want AM and PM routines, which these are too big. Let me see if I can cut them down. Again, scrapbooker, if you guys aren't. Scrapbookers. I've been scrapbooking for a long time. I have seven children, and I've done scrapbooks for all of them. And now I'm working on one for my grandchildren. So anyway, here we go. AM and PM, let's see if I can make these work. I might need to move this up. That's good and stuck, which is okay. So we're gonna put AM. Actually, I think I want to move up here. AM and PM. I want to work on different AM and PM routines. I have some already, but uh, I kind of want to change those, kind of work them out. And then from there, I have, um, I even have like the AM and PM stickers here. So I have coffee and wine for the sun and the moon. So my AM and my PM. And then what, what's more realistic to me than wine? Wine and then my coffee, which to me, obviously, you guys know we do the Bellevue then, then we do wine investor. So that is what I'm thinking of those here. Okay. And, and those will be in my uh, work as well. Okay. And then I have self care. So I have me time for that. So this is part of a routine as well. So I'm just going to go up to the side and it will be connected all together. Um, so you'll see that as well. Whoops, I just broke off her arm. Again, I really also like personal photos. This is the first year I'm doing one like this. Normally, I do um, I, I use personal photos, but I thought this would be kind of fun. I'll try. Okay. So... I have a calendar as well, and then I, oh yeah, this is for time. Okay, that's what this is for, because the other part of my um, my schedule is time. I want to schedule time to do certain things. One of them is for memories. What I have here is memories. Um, I want to make sure I'm collecting those. Again, I just said I'm doing this for my, um, my grandson, my grandson, my granddaughter. And then I want to schedule rest time, which is again part of the time. So I have, oh, it's, I have self care, which should be me time and self care, which are pretty much the same. So I think I'll just use that. Um, and this is to schedule rest time here. I have a little pillow schedule time for myself. And again, once you know the area, you know how you can fill it out, right? Um, so I have own plug for resting as well. So I'll find that. So then you can see what I'm going to do is take the personal and I'm going to go right up to the routine and then I'm going to go up to the time. And then from here, let me drop the arrows there. Yeah. And then from here, 
15, I'm going to go up to this and down to the new one. Okay, so it all relates, it all connects. I don't like if I did that, but it's done. Okay, so the next next section, and then if you will, you can do like that to my personal goals, okay? And it's the same, we'll do the same thing with all of these. You, I just wanted to show you guys a section so you can see how it's going to relate for me. Again, if you have pictures and you want to figure, take up more space, do what works for you. This is just what I'm using. Okay, then over here, my two main things were to cherish and have fun, which cherish is my word of the year. So I pulled a bunch of things over here I want to use for this section. Um, so the first thing is cherish. I want to... I loved this quote that says, dance to the beat of your own drum. Um, I kind of liked that. Let me see if I cut this down. So I'm thinking that will be really fun for the cherish part of it, but what I want to work on, which is, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw my line to here. And I'll probably just write cherish up here. I have come here. I have. I'm gonna do some girl trips. I want to schedule that. This is important to me and my girlfriends. So I want to make sure I have that there. And I have adventure weights. Okay. And then. Walks in life is meant for good friends and good adventures. And I just, I, I like quotes. So let's see if I move this around a little bit. Okay. Here we are. I want it to all be one. So, and I want to fill the area. What I'm trying to do, okay, so there's that. And then we're going to do another section over here, which is like for, for fun, uh, for fun for me, which is, you know, I want to, this is happy plans. So I think I'll just use the rest of this to mark the fun. And then I'll do one of my goals was to plan an event and read the book monthly is what I have, but I might not have enough space for all this. So I might have to just, um, not use, uh, clearly, I just put things down that I thought I wanted to do. And part of the cherishing I have, I have this a couple times because it's really important to me, is blocks in nature. Again, these are all from those books in case you guys are wondering where I got them from. Again, you can see there's if you have more room for more, I think I do there. I'm going to take this piece of This is how I would prep my scrapbooking pages. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie again and go from there to here. And then from there to there. And I can write on here if I want to. Um, cherish this. This one goes here, and then this one. I cannot do this backwards. <laughs> I might just end up putting little arrows on there. Who knows? Okay, so there's the next section. All right, then we're going to go to work and learning. And I have some set aside here for this. Again, and we're going to go with the two that I have three different areas here lessons, um, team building, and leadership. So, um, for leadership, I have a quote that says, Don't seek out followers, seek out leaders. And I thought that was really efficient, really relevant, I guess, is what I was trying to say. So, I want this to go into two different sections. So, I'm going to go down here for this one. And then the other one up here is for team building, so keep it, keep it going and growing. I thought that was great for team building. So I'm going to put that one there over here. And then the other one is lessons. Um, and 
guess I'll use this one for that. It says positive vibes, but I think I'm going to cut this off a little bit. I think I'm going to put this one down here. There we are. Okay. So then part of the lessons that I have here, which I do think I want to write lessons on here. There we go. Just so I didn't know where I had, what space I have. So part of the lessons that I'm obviously working on right now is setting goals and defining our goals. And I'm going to be doing this every month. I think that's what Lori and I have talked about. So this is part of the lessons, setting goals. And what was the other thing? Habits. So I want to. Okay. And then for the leaders, what did I say? I said we're going to have the work on education, and I thought this was such a pretty sticker. Um, education and so here we go. Weekly, yeah. So weekly education, work on. Education. Oh, that's for me. I was working on my own leadership, I guess. And then keep it growing. Going is for Zoom calls, Zoom trainings that I'm doing, and um, one on ones that we have as well. I have that for that. So make the call as part of those one on ones. So this is for the Zoom trainings. I'm going to put a little meeting here. And I have to have a glass of wine because we have a wine company. So lots of wine in this one. The email is just for my personal over here. Okay. Then again, once we go here. Then we can go down. And this one can go right here. Setting goals goes up. There we go. That is for me. That's what I want to use. Okay, next we're going on to our family relations. Family, and I'm trying to keep my time. I'm sorry, guys, I keep checking it to make sure I just don't go over. Okay, so here's family and relationships. And I have a bunch of different ones again that I pulled, different areas. Um, so I have monthly, what is it? Yeah, monthly, weekly, and family. So um, I'm going to do the family time here. Let's see, let's do this one up here because I just have a few little stickers for there. And um, so I have game nights and family dinner. Family dinner, game nights. And then I wanted to do, I think I'm just going to host some party this one says host a summer party but i want to do themed dinners so that's what this is for and then i'm just trying to see the best way to do this there things like that okay and then from there the other one is monthly and weekly which the weekly really is date with my hubby my day and um, so i have wine glasses That's just like my weekly date, and then I. The rules on dating, guys, if you're not new, is when you're on. Um, if you're um, need ideas, I guess I should say. So, yes, um, don't talk about anything but each other and your goals and your dreams. Okay, so then on the monthly section, which is the larger section, I want to make sure that I'm celebrating each of my kids. Actually, I think I'm going to take another sticker here because this one's a little bit different. Let's see what I have here. These will work. I just lost 
know, like the movement, I have the steps, just keep going, and then I have the yoga as well. I'm trying to color for it maybe is I like that one better. I think that's it. And then I just like to get good get sleep, eat clean, drink water, exercise, repeat. So just focusing on that. Just a little quote. I'm going to turn this and write my little arrows. And again, I probably have to use some glue here. That's okay. All right, so those are my arrows, at least those are down. Let's go to the next. I'm probably going to use some glue after we're done. Um, the next area is spiritual growth. It's spiritual and personal growth. And I have three areas really that I want to focus on here. Um, I'm really working on my chakra, one of my chakras, more of nature, because nature to me is very spiritual, and gratitude. So I have my gift banks here. I'll start with that. That's for my gratitude. It's very, very important to me um, to have gratitude. And with my gratitude, I want to, let's see if I have, let's do, let's do this. Let's here we go. Nature. How did I want to do this? Oh, I have this for the nature. That's what I did. So I have these stars. Oh, those are really pretty. And then I want to make sure I can fit in this because this is really important to me. So it's my mountain. Your mountain is waiting. Get out of your way, the Dr. Seuss. And I think I'm just going to use this little man, little walking man here. And that's for walks with thought. And then I have, I want to. Well, let's see. But I wrote down ski, which my husband would be thrilled, but just working out my leg pain. Um, but there's my little star, my little snowflake I need, and then I have more ocean time because to me the ocean just calls me. It's my peaceful spot. And so I have palm trees and a flamingo. So I think I might just have to get a palm tree here. Let's see if I have room. And then the give thanks, I want to do um, an AM gratitude. So I have the sun for the AM gratitude. And I'm going to give. And then I have a daily study time, which I already do a lot of this, but I'm, I, I want to continue. It has this side note there, but then I have this pencil that says study. So I thought I would just kind of stick that on there. And so I have the, oh, and I have journaling. So I wanted to use the pens and pencils to represent journaling. Keep my journal going. And then the other aspect, let me see, I might have to move some of this. I think I'll move this down, down over here. And then I'll put over here my, my chakra. And then I'm going to just put, I couldn't think of how else to display this. So I just took these boxes that were colored. Wrote down the different chakras on here. Again, if you guys are into meditation and whatnot, then this is you understand. I think just being balanced in all things is really, really important to me. So I think it's something I need to strive for. So you guys don't know about your chakras. I recommend This is not balanced, <laughs> which is a cool, honest portrayal of me right now. I'm not balanced. Okay. That's probably as good as it's going to get, but. Okay, so those 
those are my things that I want to work on. So I'm just going to put spirituality. I'm going to go here. And then from here, I'm going to draw lines to the gift thanks. And then to that. And then from the gift thanks, we have our journaling, which is pretty good at journaling, but my AM routine. And then my study. And then for my nature bit that I have here, I'll draw a line down to more box with them.
you know, like I said, I'm going to be writing this more when I can look at what I'm doing. Um, and then, so I have four. I want to purge, the, <laughs> purge the garage. I want to purge everything. But right now I'm going to put purge for that. Oh, I, and then I put donate for inside. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to purge and donate everything. Um, I have a sweep the porch because I just want to clean out my patio and work on that. Uh, and I want to think about some yard maintenance. So I have that there for yard maintenance. And then again, I'm you know doing anything I'm, I'm cleaning, doing the cleaning schedule, redoing my cleaning schedule. I had one, but I need another one. And then part of my other thing that I wanted to do in this area was I want to go through all my seasonal decor and get rid of it. So this is the seasonal sticker book here. Not get rid of it, but I think you guys did I think I only want to keep what I want to keep. Just on the toy. Just want to grab something that says the clothes. Quality decor, but I don't know what that would be. Maybe this one will work. Yeah, let's do that. I want the little I'm go through my Halloween. So my Christmas, my Halloween decorations, and I have Thanksgiving decorations as well. I'm just getting rid of donate to a family need. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay. Because I'm donating. So um, and, I'm, and this is for my seasonal decor. So that's what that is for. So again, my house, I'm going to donate. I'm getting on the cleaning schedule. And I'm going through my um, holiday decorations. And then for the outside, I'm going to work on the porch, the garage, and the, the yard. And that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my word really quickly. And I just had this was for a wedding sticker because I was um, obviously have a wedding coming up, but I found the word in there. Found my word. And hmm. Cherish. All things cherish right now because I feel like 2020 has been a very interesting year. And I feel like a lot of us just kind of forgot how to um, cherish things in our life. But anyway, I'm going to put that there. And that's my word of the year. And then I'm going to take my sharpen my markers here that I had. And this is this is just kind of the final touches. We'll see how all this works on here. I don't know, but I want to take my marker. Make it all relevant to that quadrant. So that makes any sense to me. I did this a lot in, with my book, as you guys probably saw in the beginning. There we go. Like it helps it to pop and stand out when I know those are the ones I'm working on for this area.
Yes. Last slide is um, this is a physical environment, which, like I said, my home is very orderly already. That's why this kind of looks like a blacking. So I don't mess around with my house. So I might just put a quote in there like cleanliness is next to godliness or something. But that is it. That is what my board looks like. So. I hope you guys like this and I hope you're enjoying this and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys, that's uh, going to conclude that part of it. I'm going to uh, go on to the next part of the training. So I'm going to stop the recording. Yeah, it's pretty powerful stuff. I'll just, I'm going to end with just a couple words, actually. Um, Tanya was worried that the, the, the gentleman here would think this was like too like soft, too girly. I'm gonna tell you, it is so powerful to visualize and have the standings there. If you guys saw my, I doodle in my book, I draw out pictures, I'm very artistic. It expresses where I wanna go and, and it gets that brain going. So I'm gonna tell you guys, this is not one of those things. I wanna, I'll tell you this, those who plan achieve, those who don't just fail. You're not going to find any self-made millionaire that didn't plan out where they were going. They don't just stumble into it. It has to be organized. All right. You're getting those skills and stuff here. Um, I want you guys to do me huge favors as you create your boards, share them with Tanya. She will love to see what you guys are doing and where you're going. She's also um, working on the curriculum for you guys to teach you guys how to plan every asset of what you're doing. And you guys, for us, success is not just about the money. If, if you have a very well-rounded life, the money is going to come in better because your life is going to allow that to come in better. You know, there is so, so much. It, it has to do with, you know, you don't know what you don't know in your environment. And if you come from an environment of drama from family, and a lot of us, our families have drama. My, my family that I grew up in with my siblings, we have our own share of drama just like everybody else, Okay. It, it, it exists. It's, it's, it's learning how to overcome that and balance out your life and, you know, learn how to get rid of toxic stuff, how to direct your life where you want to go in all aspects and areas. And also, you know, it's good to learn how to be financially, fiscally smart, how to, you know, structure your day, how to have an organized, you know, house, right? You know, um, you know I, I'm always more productive in a very clean environment than a messy environment. Things distract your head. They, you don't realize it. But when things are orderly and, and in place, man, you get more done. All those types of things we're going to be, you know, impressing on everybody and sharing that because we know that not everybody came from an environment like that. You got to create that. And someone's got to teach you that. So, um, you know, it, I'll tell you, I don't know anybody that does it better than Tanya. She and, and she's been, you know, in a teaching format for years. And now she's just opened up to just guide everybody here. So anyway, that's that. I'll stop this recording. Watch it over and over again. Um, we'll be putting it up in some actual, uh, you know, in, in the trainings to get it out there. But, but you guys, she's going to be refining these different areas of how to plan your life. And, and it's a habit that really will transcend and help everything out there. And I'll tell you, when you plan out your days and you plan out your priorities and how you activate those days around the goals you want to get, everything else falls into place eventually everything you know you slowly get better and better at it you know you can have the quality time with the kids and your loved ones and still have a successful business 
you know, you're not going to have to sacrifice one for the other. You just got to prioritize and make things and arrange things and learn boundaries and set boundaries with others and make more happen in a day. All right, moving on.